6.51, it's 6.49. I have faith, I have, look at the clouds. You know, if you told me one year ago to get up early morning for sunrise, I would have straight up told you to fuck off. <laughs> But now I love it. It's 5 a.m. right now. We're gonna go shoot sunrise today with Daniel and Liam. But I gotta feed my cat first. So I was hoping for the city to be a bit foggy um, because it said there was going to be overcast today and like a, a lot of humidity and stuff so I was expecting some like low flying clouds over the city and shit but I can see the city now because I'm like in the suburbs and I, it doesn't look like there's much low cloud over it but it, it might change once we're in there. If it's not foggy that's alright uh, because we're actually got a little bit of rain right now. So it's enough rain for it to like lightly glaze the road so we can get some reflections happening off the road which is really dope. <laughs> Like I've said many times in the past, if you can find a reflection, especially once it's raining, if you squat down and get a low shot, you can kind of double your photo. So I'm going to shoot here for a bit, but the shot that I had in mind was like someone walking across just in front of the puddle here, and then I want to have Flinders Street, the main train station in the background, plus the reflection of the image. The sun should be rising in about 10 minutes and I said I'd meet the boys over near Hamer Hall because I think they want to get like a full shot of the city. It's actually a pretty decent view from this spot. You kind of look out over like some railing or whatever or like a, a little wall or whatever and you look back into the entire city. I don't actually think we're going to get a really good sunrise because it's overcast this morning. So I don't think the sun's going to be able to break through. don't think it's going to break through at this point. What's the time? That's the thing. Because the sun rises at 6.51. 6.51? It's 6.49. I have faith. I have, look at the clouds. There's potential. But at the same time, I have no idea. Because I don't really shoot sunrise. <laughs> I don't think we're going to get much of a sunrise, but that's all right because I still got a couple of shots and I don't know if you saw, but I got a couple of photos on my iPhone as well. So, so I guess we'll just see what I can do in editing. I actually enjoyed the filmmaking aspect of today's photo shoot more than actually taking the photos themselves. I think personally that it's really important to be ambidextrous with photography and filmmaking and it's quite rare to come across content creators that are filmmakers and photographers. 
You're kind of sort of on one side of the fence or the other. I personally think that it's really, it's a really good skill to be able to be good at both of those things together. I've learned way more about filmmaking, which is, I guess I'm trying, I'm finding more things about filmmaking that it's making me fall in love with it. So I've learned like how to make a storyline. I've learned about different B-roll sequences and using different lenses and mucking around with that and making my B-roll look cool. And I've learned about 4K in video. Fucking love 4K. I'm filming this in 4K. It's, it's it's mint, I fucking love it. I love 4K. So now that I'm finding a bit more passion in filmmaking, I've become ambidextrous in both photography and filming, right? And that's really important to do because if you're trying to make some money in photography or filmmaking, but you can do both together, you'll make some serious money because if a client asks you, you know, oh, can you take some photos of this? And you go, yeah, sure. And then they turn around and go, oh, you know what? Um, can you actually make a video as well? And you're like, yeah, fucking oath. I mean, you're pretty much a wizard then because you can take photos and videos and if you can do some Photoshop shit and you can learn a bit of graphic design, you can be a jack of all trades. But anyway, the photos. I'm not really gonna talk too much about this because like I said, I was really focused more about the video on today and trying to build the story of today than actually taking the photos. But I got this photo on my iPhone, whatever. Like, it's a shot on my iPhone. Like, what, like it's at the tram intersection there. It's got symmetry and yada, yada, yada. Who gives a fuck? And the reflection shot that we went out and took as well. Like, same shit. We've talked about this before. Like, find a puddle, take the reflection photo, get down low, get the shot, whatever. Like, it's fucking cool, man. Like, if you find puddles and shit, just take those kind of photos. But I should actually give credit where it's due because I saw uh, a really underrated photographer from Melbourne as well, actually. His name's Philip. And he took that photo first, from what I remember. That's the first time I saw the photo. And, uh, and I saw that and I basically just ripped it from him. So thanks, Philip. I just completely stole your photo there. <laughs> um, I should mention though, I did edit those images with my preset pack. So if you don't know, I do have preset packs that are available to download. They're linked in my bio there or you can get them at streamline.store.com or something. Or is it just... Dot store. My presets come in a pack of 20 and they're split up into four different genres. You've got drones, cars, street, and night. Plus, they come with 20 walkthrough tutorials. So there's an introduction video, an outro video, uh, installation guide to show you how to use the presets and how to download them, put them on your phone and shit. Uh, and also individual videos for every single one of the presets. So all 20 presets have their own video that shows in depth how to use the presets, how to change the temperatures, how to up the exposures, all that kind of shit. Plus they come with 20 of my raw photos as well. So I've got 20 raws in there. You can play around with them. You can edit them. You can upload them. You can do whatever the fuck you want with them. Doesn't matter. Obviously, if you are going to put them online, just make sure you tag me at North Borders. There's a lot of value in there. You can get those streamline.store or down below, linked in my bio. Anyway, I hope I taught you something new today. If you did like this video, leave a like down below and help me out by hitting subscribe. But with that all said and done, I will see you in the next one.